E aí pessoal, tudo bem com vocês? Eu espero que sim. Aqui quem fala é o Jorge. Neste vídeo você irá assistir Need for Speed o Mode. E para este filme eu utilizei o jogo original Need for Speed o Mode, onde ele foi jogado, gravado e editado completamente por mim. Eu espero que vocês gostem. Yes, we've spent all summer working on this car. Let me drive it already. Yeah, okay, okay. Go easy, though. I don't want any surprises. having all these horses if we ain't gonna run them. Love the smell of Nas. Gonna smell like victory when we cross that finish line. That's some great A confidence. You blame me? This car's straight fire, yes? Those months of hard work paid off. We've been watching this scene for so long. I can't believe we're finally getting the chance to race. street racing community on display. It's time to play. Finally, we're off the bench and in the game. Our baby is holding her own. Do you think we'd ever do this? On the sidelines of the meet us, watching all these races. I always dream, but here now, weaving through the streets, us in the car, it's freedom. Pretty deep. Usually you're all just, hey bro, pass me the torque wrench. Must be the car. Adele gave us a junker and he turned her into this. What was the boss thinking, letting her rust in the garage? He was gonna work on it, just never found the time. Well, he's gonna lose his shit when he sees her now. We're gonna do Rydell's rides proud. Put the garage on the map. Bridge, quick! We can bump that out. It's all in the 
reflexes. Who knew you had them? Nice driving, seriously. Nice, uh, mechanically, seriously. Lake ain't ready for this. Their words. Whose words? Street racing community. We're making a splash. What? Already? Didn't take long for the lake to notice. Yes, now my dams are blowing up about this meetup in the Heights tonight. Like I said, people are putting serious money on the line. It's our time, yo. Damn. <laughs> well, what you think, boss? She sounds pretty. Mmm, <laughs> smells nice, too. I love me the smell of gasoline. That explains a lot. I gotta say, I can't believe you two turned my old junker out back into this. Believe the lake better watch out. Mm. What? She's street legal? Right, and I'm LeBron. Look, I'm not gonna tell you not to race. I know what it's like to feel that need for, uh, that... You know, the need for, uh... For what? That's the gasoline talking. Well, just do me a favor. Don't be racing with those assholes from Cyril Heights. Aren't you from Cyril Heights? Yeah, and that's how I know what those assholes be up to. Nothing good. Rydell, you have always said I'm an excellent judge of character. I ain't never said that. <laughs> what, you don't <laughs> trust me? Just win, I. Woo, woo! No, I'm serious. Don't just say shit. Win shit. Let's get ready. I'm telling you, bruh, tonight's the night. All she needs is a name. So, let's talk about my raise. Yeah, if you can do that to a customer's car, maybe. <laughs> what customers? Hey, we're finally hitting our stride here. Got a few new clients dropping off their car soon, as a matter of fact. Looking for that Rydell touch. The Jasmine touch. The garage's touch, okay? That's right. Hey, Rydell. Hey, kid. What's happening out there? Oh, we're just heading out. So, you no, know, not much. Hey, Rydell. Know any good spots to eat in the Heights? Ha, ha, ha. I said no Heights, no eats, no assholes. I hear you. We'll just find something when we get there. Maybe roast a steak over a dumpster fire. Hey, 
She's joking, she's joking. You're joking, right, Yaz? Sure, totally. Yo, first meet up is racers. You ready? Just be cool, all right? We gotta look like we know what we're doing. There'll be some big players there today and they ain't gonna hang with us if we look basic. All right, all right. I mean, we're good enough, right? Our ride has to match our ambition. It needs to look the part. Racing ain't just about winning. Just hope we don't disappoint. Just hang with your girl. I know what's up. Whoa. I've never seen a meetup this packed before. Better get your game face on. right now. That's it. Keep up with them. One mistake, and that money is mine. If we get pulled over, I'm gonna tell them you jacked me. Wait, what? <laughs> Just playing. I'm glad it's you in the car with me. Been a long time coming. Just don't tell Rydell. Tell him what? That's what I'm talking about. because you needed something to do. What are you talking about? I have lots to do. Posing on the hood, looking cool, usual. I'm telling you, when I'm running those meetups, they'll be epic. When you're running those meetups. I'm not gonna be in that garage forever, you know. This girl's got ambition, you feel me? Ambition to finally get some style. I always have a plan. Oh, I don't doubt that. I do doubt you have style, though. Mayor Morgan Stevenson is ready to help rebuild Lakeshore. Because a city is only as strong as its foundation. How to go out there today? Car's looking good. The driving ain't bad either. Yeah, you two make a winning team. Speaking of winning, you see those new cars out front? I got a client wants one of them back tomorrow. Looking for that. Jasmine touch. Nice. No sweat, boss. I'll take care of it tonight. Yo, watch out for blue lights. Heat from earlier ain't died down yet. <laughs> Imagine us on the evening news. I don't blow a gasket. <laughs> hey, it would be great PR for the garage. So what's next for you? After the race? <laughs> after the race, after Rydell's. 
You can't work there your whole life. I never thought about it. I was just focused on getting out of the foster system. Rydell's ride is exactly where I need to be. He's been good to us. Yeah, he has. Tell you the truth, most stable place I've been in a minute. But sometimes... I don't know, I get this itch in the back of my skull. We found somewhere we belong now. Somewhere solid. And we've got a plan. Win shit. No, we gonna win shit. Lots of shit. Hey, kid, gas there? Yo, what's up? You seen my pipe wrench? That one you nicknamed Wrenchy? Yeah, Wrenchy. Where is he? You try the red cat, man? Of course I tried the red cat, man. I always try the red cat, man. Never mind. Where was he? The, um... It was in the, uh... You know. Mm-hmm. Later, Rydell. You know we can't enter every event, right? We ain't got the money for the big leagues yet. Now, patrol joining the other pursuers. Rydell could have seen that. Seriously? He'd lose it. You know he got up to worse back in the day. Not Rydell. He does everything by the book. It's all about family, kid. <laughs> so, after Rydell's retired, we've torn up the circuit and become legends of the lake. What are you gonna do? Tour all the big stadiums, sell out gigs, get fed grapes by my entourage. Why? What you got your eyes on? It's weird, you know, working in the garage and seeing what Rydell's built. Got me thinking maybe I can make something for myself here, too. You did, and we're driving it. Something more than this car. I'm just happy we're doing what we're doing. I like working in the garage. Taking stuff out, tightening some screws, putting stuff back in. 
pizza nights on the sofa, that smell of gasoline, Rydell trying to convince us that this is the season the spins are finally gonna win? Ha, and I'm LeBron. You're right. Guess I haven't worked it all out yet. There ain't no rush. The future's like this road. What? Ahead of us? Ugh. Lame. Just got a text from Rydell. He lose Wrenchy again? He's left the keys for those new client cars he wants me to work on. Just wait. He's gonna lose his shit when he sees what I can do. Once you're ready to head back to the garage, I'll get started. Rydell! I pulled an all-nighter on those client cars. Looking good, right? Not bad at all. But you need to remove the filter to make sure you fit the plug back properly. Come on now. No, I don't. You know I'd be happier if you did it by the book. I had like three cars to do. This way was faster. Oh, very well. Let's see what the client says. They're expecting it back today. Now, hey, why don't you grab some coffee? You look tired. That's all you can say to me after I worked all night? Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna take a walk and clear my head. Hey, Ash. We good? Yeah, we're good. Great. So, uh, what's up? Can you pick up a buddy of mine? He's got some heat on him, needs some fast wheels. You got it. Heading there now. Yo, what's with your boy, Rydell? My boy? Take the filter out. I busted my ass all night while he was watching the spins lose another game. Didn't you volunteer? <laughs> Whatever. Don't take it personal. He appreciates you. You know he does. So you on his side now? Yes, it's not about sides. Rydell just likes things done his way. Yes? Yes? Damn. to my safe house. Now. Wow, Rudiger, no foreplay, huh? What is this, a date? I need a ride, or are we going to have a problem? We cool, buddy. I got you. Huh, guess you're not so big on small talk, are you? I'd rather you talk less and drive more. No problem at all, Rudiger. I don't need to fill the void with talk, chit-chat, back and forth. Nope, not me. I'm totally cool. Just sitting in silence, alone with my thoughts. I can still hear you. Okay, I guess you didn't fully suck. Wow. Glowing endorsement. Hey, before you go, can I get a review from you? Because I think it would really, really help me out. Are you always this needy? Damn, Rudiger, I, I really thought we had something going here. Just get me to where I need to be. Cops seem like they really want to talk. It's the same everywhere. They've made their mind up about you and want to take you down. Ah, I got it. So you're innocent. Depends on your definition of innocent. Uh, not guilty? Then no, I'm not, as you say, innocent. Okay then. You know, that wasn't bad. You've made a friend today, friend. And my friends are always welcome at my safe house. Thanks, Rudy. I feel like we made a breakthrough here. Do not call me that. Call me by my street name. Which is... Der Nail. What does that make me? Der Hammer? I'm going to regret calling you. Hey, Rydell. Yo, kid, you a yes? No, out on my own. What's up? Just called to say the client was really happy with their car. Nice work, team. Where are you? The supermarket. I'm thinking about, uh, buying up the old drum out back. Get one of my 
brisk is going. I'll do my dad's secret marinade you like so much. You know, to celebrate. Ooh, I'm in. All right. Tell your ass when you speak to her, OK? Sure thing. Yo, what's up? Raddell called. He's firing up his oil drum and making his brisket with his dad's secret marinade. You in? I'm busy. Come on, yes. He said the clients liked their cars. So? So he's happy. He wants to celebrate together. Then why didn't he call me? I put in the work. Now dude thinks he can win me over with brisket? Nah, bruh. Just talk it out. We'll see that he means I got a call coming through. Later. Stevenson, you've been in office for a while now. What are your plans for Lakeshore? You know, now more than ever, we need to back the boys in blue as they protect us from those who treat Lakeshore like their own personal playground. From graffiti to street racing, these illicit activities are tearing our once great city apart like wet tissue paper. If you want a cleaner, safer Lakeshore, Yo, check out that tuning kit. That's the look I'd be going for, no doubt. Friedel, where'd that come from? The tuning kit? I ordered it for a customer, but they never picked it up, so it's just gathering dust. It's up for grabs? Yeah, it cost. Thanks, boss. This'll make the car look dope for the race on Saturday. Hey, you know we got that big money race coming up? We better make sure our ride is looking the part. Yo, tell me when you ready to head out. I'm not spending all night here again. 
Yo, you both on hand here tonight? Uh, no, nah, I was just saying we going out. Oh, okay. Oh, you just be careful out there, all right? We got more cars coming in early, too. Will do, boss. Damn, dude only cares about his business. I hear there's some sick race routes planned tonight. Let's tear the lake up. this out. Some chick is live streaming about the mayor. Alec just shot me a link. Alec? Yeah, you know the guy from that thing. Shh, she's on. What's up, Lakeshore? Okay, so tonight's live stream will expose the corruption behind the no-nonsense for nonsense policy. <sighs> cute name, right? But there's nothing cute about what's happening to the people of this city. Look, we have inside information that will finally expose this administration and how they are the real criminals of Lakeshore. But first, do you like your mattress? Oh, shit. I think I hate my mattress. Yo, what would you say if I told you there was a way to make some cash besides racing? I'd say I like both my kids. Nothing serious yet, but my boy Alec could be looking for a driver. Hold on, remind me. Alec is... Friend I rolled with from before. We were in the same foster home. Yo, I heard from Alec. He's legit impressive. Got a major hustle. Hustle? I'm gonna hit him up and see if he's got something for us. How come I've never met him before? You've never met my Uncle Choppy either. I got people you don't know, all right? All right. As I said, we came up in the system together. He looked out for me. Yeah, I know. I came through that system too, remember? You got lucky. I bounced around so much. Alec was there for me when no one else was. When I came to Rydell's, we drifted apart. But he called me a couple of days ago out of the blue. Out of the blue, huh? No, it's not like that. He saw us race and reached out. Look, he's good people. He can help us out with getting some more money. All right, all right, fine. I trust you. You know that. We gonna kill it. Looks like Alec might be at the meetup. Let's make sure we impress out there. All right. Just locked in some more clients. Words getting out about this garage. Great, I'm happy for you. Happy for us? I wouldn't be here without you two. This garage isn't just a business, it's a family. That must be why we get minimum wage. There's a bunch of cars needing a tune-up. You game? Yeah, sure thing. back at the garage? Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. What'd he say? Do you know how many times I've heard the we're a family speech? Trust me, the only person you should be loyal to is yourself. Yes, what? Hey, Rydell. Hey, just wanted to wish you both luck for the big race. You got this. Thanks, Pops. Just remember, don't just say shit. Win shit. Win shit. That's right. Well, break a... Oh, I'm going with this. See you back at the garage. What was that about? Maybe he's just trying to apologize. It usually starts with sorry. But that's just Rydell. He's old school. Yeah, old something. All right. Yo, looks like Alex here. Do your thing. I told him to look out for us. He was very interested in our car. So, let's not disappoint.
about to see Zoom pass? It's me. That was too easy! Rydell's rides. Wait till he hears about this. Pride is gonna be real. Yeah, he might even break out the grill in his dad's secret marinade. Oh, shit, hold up. Alex calling. What up, fam? Yeah, impressive, huh? Little garage run by... I told you, bro. I don't know, like a bunch. A bunch of what? What, tonight? Yeah, you know it. Thanks. Peace. All right. What was that about? Alex gig. Wait, now? I, I thought we were going back to the garage. Transport job. Simple pick up and drop off. He's sending over the info now. We're not passing this up. It's our time, yo. All right, fine. Let's do this. I don't know, Yaz. This seems sketchy. What did I say about taking risks? If we impress this guy, we'll reap the benefits. But there's no second chances. Do you have any idea what ride we're picking up? Knowing my boy, something legit. Damn, yes. Nice. You take it. I'll drive out to the drop-off behind you. On it. We're keeping this little job between us, right? Ooh, don't mind if I do. For sure. I can't wait to see what this thing can do. Shit! Damn it! Jasmine, is this car hot? Uh, maybe. Let's split up. I'll meet you at the drop-off. Got it. Stay safe. Uh, I don't have eyes on that perp anymore. That perp just vanished somewhere at University Central. Suspect got away. I'm terminating this chase right here, right now.
Come on, Yaz. Pick up. Pick up. Yo, it's Yaz. Leave a message and I might get back to you. Probably won't, but I might. Yo, Yaz, where are you? I'm at the drop-off and there's nothing here. Are you sure this Alec guy gave you the right address? Shit! Yes, the garage alarm just went off. Are you satisfied with this message? Screw it. Gotta get back to the garage. Thanks for calling Rydell's Rides. Call back during normal business hours. Shit. Yo, it's Yaz. Leave a message and I might get back to you. Probably won't, but I'm out. Oh, shit! Where is everybody? No, no, no. <sighs> Shit, Rydell, you okay? They emptied a lot. Wait here. Shit! I knew it. I told y'all. Jasmine, who is that? I don't know that dude. Yeah, let's go. They just said your name. Rydell, she was with me all night. Who did you tell about this place? I didn't. You didn't what? You didn't go to the Heights? Laugh about how trusting the old man is? Well, who's gonna trust me now? Hold up! Took your ass in when no one else wanted you. Whoa, Rydell, you gotta chill. Yes! Wait! What the hell? Did she just take the car? Kia, she took everything. Mayor Morgan Stevenson, the leader Lakeshore deserves. Hey, Rydell. Kind of dead again today. Oh, some little lady came in for an oil change. She didn't have any money, though. Just samosas. Yours is in the fridge. Well, I'm gonna lock up for now. See if I can make a few extra bucks on the side. Oh! I cleaned out the storeroom, and dude, you were right. It's a possum, not a rat. So, yeah. He's still in there. Oh, hey, the book you ordered came in. Bro, if you ever need to talk, I'm here. I'll be in early tomorrow to open up, okay? Peace. Aye. Who needs a ride? Rydell's Rides. Need a lift? Hey, name's Tess. 
Heard you might be a good person to call for a cheap ride. I'll hit you with the address on where I'm heading. No sweat. Be there soon. Yeah, I was like, yo, bro. And yo, check this, bro. He was all like, if you know, you know, bro. And you know what I said? <laughs> bro! Yeah, hi. Um, Tess? Yo! Yo, I'm running a little late, so if you could, uh... I got you. What? Do you have a pet chinchilla or like a... Possum or something? Um, no. Why? Really? No reason. I'm just gonna crack this window. So, what's this address? Headed to this empty lot off the underpass. You know it? That was an old meetup spot for local street racers. Oh, you race? Or something like that. Anyways, cops have that spot pretty locked down now. <laughs> the scene's about to get a big shake up from what I hear. Wait, really? Mm hmm. If you know, you know. And I know, bro. So what's up? You're in the racing scene, but you don't have a car? Real cheese get rides. I also like being on time. Yo, does this thing go any faster? Five stars. Great conversation. Hey, you should stick around. Might be worth your while. Oh yeah, thanks for the advice. I've not seen this many racers in one place in a minute. Brought everyone back out. The love of racing, bruh. The need to express oneself behind the wheel. And money also. Yeah, probably money. I forgot how much I missed this. <laughs> I can see why. I'm gonna do the rounds, figure out what's up. Thanks for the lift, Speedy. That's my car. Yes? All right, all right, focus up. Let's go. I'm glad to see y'all showed up. How many years has it been, for real? The man cracks down a little bit and we all bitch out? I thought this was Lakeshore. I thought this was a racing scene. Flex in with your super tuners and your muscle cars. That guy. Woo. What's it gonna take, huh, to remind you why we got into this? Stacks. Nailed it. Three qualifiers, high risk. You have a run in with the cops, you take them on. You make it, and I will see you in the finals. The Lakeshore Grand. You want to win? Then you had better be the best! Seven days until the first qualifier! Earn your place! Yes! Yo, Speedy, you still want that five-star rating? Then show me what you got. Five stars? I got you. People who wear bow ties with sneakers, those are the real criminals. What are we gonna do for a sequel? 
2440 vanished. We're done here. I was sensing some hostility between you and Miss Monologue back there. That what you saw back there, that's my car that she's driving. Weird. Looked like her car. That she was driving. She even had the front to keep the license plate. Wait till Rydell hears this. Who? Oh, he, uh, he runs the garage. This garage? Is it nearby? I'm thinking now's a good time for us to get off the street. Yeah, no kidding. On. So, gotta ask, was she always like that? Like what? Trying so hard. Look, that ain't the as I know, but it's been a while. This is it. Rydell's rides. Not bad. Maybe he's a little work. <laughs> so, this is where Yaz started off, huh? Get the hell out of my shop! Wasn't me! Whoa, whoa! Kid, you triggered the alarm, sister. Hey, no touching. Sorry, this is Tess. Almost took your head off. Nice to meet you, slugger. Right on. I saw Jasmine. She just rolled up at this meetup. You kidding? She still had the car. And she's still with that same crew that jacked our garage, setting up some high stakes circuit called the Lakeshore Grand. <laughs> Corny. With our car. I need to beat her. I need the garage. I need your help. Hold well, on, kid. Now let's say you do this, okay? And you throw down with Jasmine and you beat her in a street race. So what? So what? That's what this garage was about. Now look at this place. We're fine. This yours? Didn't I say no touching? Mr. Rides of Rydell's Rides. Love that name, by the way. Full disclosure. I went to that meetup tonight looking for a racer. Then the cops showed up and I was like, cops? <laughs> oh yeah, and the kid was crazy fast outrunning him. Now, I'm thinking, learn from the best. Listen, I got what you need, cash. And you two got what I want, a reason to win. How about I make an investment in this garage, rep you in the race, maybe open some doors. Come on, Randall. I can win. We can bring this place back. I'm in. Woohoo! Just promise me, no matter what Jasmine does, you do it the right way. Deal? Deal. So, Rydell, got any rides out back? Welcome to Rydell's Rides. <laughs> <laughs> I have some customers looking for a delivery that could help us earn some cash before the next race. Nice. Judging by this place, you used to race yourself. Oh, I sure did. Man, do I have some stories about the old days. <laughs> I bet. I have you know I used to run these streets. Oh, so you ran? On foot, I see. That's what street racing was like before the car was invented, huh? <laughs> Why don't you worry about getting this team funded? Whatever happens with Jasmine tonight, let's just show them what this garage is made of. That little present. Check your glove compartment. What's this? Baby powder. Honestly, I'm afraid to ask. Trust me, kid. Make sure you apply it liberally before the race. These things can get intense. That means sweat. Okay? Better to be safe and dry than sorry and sweaty. Speaking of which, I'm getting nervous. Better go powder up. Later, kid.
Hellfire, baby! This place is lit! Hey, Speedy, check it. Looks like Yaz is throwing down tonight. Today's your lucky day. Perfect. Time to show her up. Wait, what is she doing? Looks like she's racing, but not in her car. I mean, your car. I mean, why? Why, why would she swap cars? My guess? It's her chance to size you up without risking her ride. Don't let her throw you. Go kill it, Speedy. Street 
lasers. You got some moves, I'll give you that. Better to be first than last. Dispatch, this is AWD. We're on the scene.
Oh, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? Get in that car. You guys never backs down from a challenge, right? Hey, oh yes. What's up? Long time. Yo, is that my car? Yeah. One you stole. The same night you ripped off the garage. <laughs> Damn! Uh, I know you're not coming at me right now. Rydell trusted you. Yeah? Well, I never asked him to. I never needed any of that fake father shit. I can handle myself. <laughs> this is great. That right? Let's see it. Me and you, race right now. Winner gets the car. Yeah, let's race for pinks! Pinks? What is this, the 50s? Tess, stop filming. Are you kidding me? Two long-lost friends turned rivals, throwing it down in the underground over some daddy drama. A stolen car. Next thing you know, this guy takes off his shirt. It goes to blow someone out of tunes this shit, and bam! We're on the Breakfast Club. Don't post that. It's a live stream. You know what, Pinks? I'm feeling a little generous. Charitable. You make it to the finals, you're on. Winner gets the car. <laughs> if you make it. Still two qualifiers left! It's cool. I waited two years. What's a few more years? She can't back out now. No need to thank me. Rydell. Shit. I know that look. How bad was it? We came in... First! Yes! It's that baby powder. Huh? Oh! I forgot the best part! You'll never guess who got Yaz to throw down for the car. The kid? Speedy challenged her to put the car on the line. It's ours if we beat her in the grand. Huh. No shit. She's rattled, boss. Hey. I just wanted to say I know it might feel like you're on your own behind the wheel. You're not. I got your back. Let's show the lake this crew won't back down from a fight. Thanks, Rydell. And even if we lose, you know we always have each other. The garage is your home. I know. And the possums. Don't forget the possum.
Going after the bird. We're here to take this fool down, Control. Intercept the hitter, hunt down the suspect too. here. This will soon be over, dispatch.
is safe with me. Mama needs a new kicks. Yo, Tess, what's up? What's up? People love betting over stupid drama. That's what's up. <laughs> My post of you and Yaz beefing is blowing up. I am pulling in likes. I am pulling in subs. I am pulling in stacks. <laughs> betting on me? Well, not just you. I never bet on just one horse. Hold up. You, you betting against me? Oh, don't get all sensitive, Speedy. I know you got what it takes to win this whole thing. But... What's the harm in throwing down on some other racers? If you win, we make money. If you lose, we still make money, huh? You got me? Yeah, I got you. But who's really running these books? Oh, I like the way you think. That Alec guy who set up the race? Same guy taking the bets. Which means he'll do anything to come out on top. What are we gonna do about that? Like I told Rydell, I'm here to win. Ooh, I felt that. Good. This is good. I got some ideas on how we can get some more of that, so get yourself an Italian beef and focus up. I'll hit you up later. Wasn't even close. That's how we do. Nothing like crossing the line in first. Counting the money after ain't bad either. That too. I'm glad Yaz bowed out on this one. This whole revenge thing, I don't know. Not what racing's about. At least it shouldn't be. I hear ya. I mean, I don't agree, but I hear ya. Hey kid, just wishing you luck. <laughs> Thanks, Rydell. Just gotta cross that finish line first. You still got that baby powder? Does a 1967 Mustang have a 289 cubic inch 2VV8? That's what I'm talking about. Now remember, all over, and I mean all over. Yo! Seriously good news. Whatever happens out there tonight, we are made in the shade, my friend. What are you talking about? Find me after the race. About to open some serious doors for this team. Belong out here. 
Interceptor no longer in pursuit. We can take it out. You're good, but I'm better.
dispatch. We're in pursuit of suspects. I may be behind, but I'm enjoying this. Undercover here, dispatch. We're on this fuck. All units, intercept ahead and take this bonehead down. Everybody here is throwing down on you or Jasmine for the Lakeshore Grand. So how much are we putting down on me? <laughs> About that. Let me float you something. Where's Jasmine? Oh, hey! Hi. What are you doing? Oh, we made it to the finals. Guess you're finally ready to lose to me. This, this is what I'm talking about. People love in this drama, huh? Mm -hmm. Thanks to you, Pinks. Yes, thanks to me. But you know what's better than drama? A surprise ending. But what if you didn't try to win, huh? What? I'm here to help bury the hatchet, you two. Check it. Alec wants to cut us all in on a deal to fix the final race. What's this bullshit? You think I'd really throw in with her and her crew after what she did? Remember why you got into this. Stacks, right? Look around. The real money's in the gambling now. Who cares about winning the race? Besides, if one of you crosses that finish line first, your boss is gonna lose a lot of money on these bets. And you know better than me what he thinks of losing. You know, you better dip before I tell Alec about this shit you're trying to pull. Just the messenger, girl! You sure you know him? I ain't throwing shit. Shut up! That went well. Never bet on just one horse, huh? Don't screw this up for us. Think about Rydell. Don't talk to me about Rydell. We're done. I told you how this works! I open doors and we make money. This was that door, bruh! This was that door! So that's how it went down last night, huh? Not sure I'm more disappointed than Tess or this whole scene. Hmm. Fixing the race. Not how it's supposed to be. It ain't right. But you got them worried which means you're the contender. This ain't over. Hey. Yes? Listen, the cops are serious about shutting down the Grand. They've already started making moves. Getting around ain't gonna be easy. Yeah, I'm starting to see that. Wait, why are you telling me this? 
Maybe I want your ass out of jail and in that final. Later. Hey, what's going on with Alec? Yes? Damn. What happened? What are you doing here? Where's Rydell? He's out. I asked Alec about what Tess said. If he wanted me to throw the race. <laughs> it's true. What'd you say? I told him no. And well... He wasn't about it. I thought he might come here next, and I couldn't let that happen to Rydell. Well, thanks, I guess. Guess Alec never gave a shit. Saw a big score and he took it. I know the feeling. Listen, I wasn't part of what happened here two years ago. I just bragged to Alec about where I worked. <laughs> well? If that's true... Why'd you ghost with our car? You had two years to make it right. What? Come back here into open arms? You heard Rydell that night. He took me in when no one else would. Whatever. I don't give second chances, and I don't expect them. So now what? You know Alex's game. What are you gonna do about it? I'ma hit him where it hurts. Liberate his inventory. You interested? I could be. I'll call you. So coming for that car. Good. Hey, kid, let's bring her back. We will. Rydell, man, I got you. Don't worry. Hey, I even used some of that baby powder. I'll be rooting for you. Thanks, Rydell. Oh! Speed! Speed! The need for speed! Yes, absolutely. We're dropping a fortune to stop us. What do we do if it works? I don't know. Put a crew together, save the world, race home, pop a cold one, <laughs> talk about family, eat barbecue, do the same thing, only different like eight, nine times. Let's show them how we do things in the lake. Hey, 
just in case. I need you to know I'm sorry. Like you said, I had two years to make it right, and I didn't. Yes, listen. I'm still gonna take that car. Don't think them little tears are gonna let you off easy. Oh, tears? You know, you need to worry about running the race instead of running that mouth. All right, shut up! Shut up, shut up! This is it! Woo! Now check your phones for the starting line, huh? Now I'm gonna be real. 5-0 knows something's going down. They'll be out tonight. That's not gonna stop you, right? Hey! It's time for the Lake Shore Grand! Woo! Corny. You know what? As long as it's one of us. Fire, if that's what you're saying. If you're trying to distract me, it isn't working. You're not gonna say anything about my chances? Sorry, I'm busy right now. Can I ignore you another time? Except to start the chase. I'm telling you, he's more out of the We're on. I am not happy. Enjoy the Round. 
didn't think you had it in you. What? Banking on me crashing out? Nah, I'd hate to beat you on a technicality. Oh yeah? How are you gonna do that? Driving backwards? Try it. Might improve your lap times. All units, interceptors here. All right, we gotta stop them and stop them fast. We're going up. Hey. What is it now, Yaz? Just checking you're still in the race. What, are you driving blindfold? Because that would explain a few things. Wait a Getting worried I'm gonna win and take that car? You should worry about crashing if you don't focus up. Oh, I'm focused. Focused on winning my car back. You could do better. Actually, judging by your racing, maybe not. Shit, shit, shit! They took us out! AWD is here. Let's get this over with. matter, yes? You've been pretty quiet. Just concentrating on racing. Maybe you should try it. Oh, yeah, I am. And I'm one step closer to getting my car back. Am I right? You got your entire life to be an idiot. Take today off. Yeah, why? Well, you know what they say about dress for the job you want. Looks like you want to be a clown. Interceptor on the scene, Control. Oh, right behind. Hey, Yaz, remember to have it detailed before I pick it up. I hate the smell of failure. You really think you're gonna win, don't you? Oh, I don't think, Yaz. You're right. You don't think. This street punk has lost their marbles. Have you seen a kick button to the name? Gotta hand it to you. I'm surprised you made it this far. What's the matter? Can't handle my skills? If I had a dollar for every time you showed some skills, I'd have one dollar. I'll be moving ahead soon.
just sent the hater hunt down a suspect too. Undercovers here, dispatch. We got this. This way is well out of wood! You're playing with the big boys now! AWD is here now, dispatch. First on the scene. All units. This is heavy. We're out. Oh, yeah? How's Alec? Broke, fam. Thanks to you. I'm lost. Why, why do you sound happy? Oh, did I give you the impression that I work for Alex? <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you, Speedy? You never bet on just one horse. When I win, I win. When I lose, I still win. Learn from this, Jasmine? Loyalty's overrated. Nah, it's not. Yo, bro, can I get a ride? Hey, you earned it. Just go easy. She's got more kick than the last time you drove her. Kick, huh? You know, my devil would love to see all this work you've done on her. You think? Yeah, and I need someone to take my car back to the garage. Try to keep up. Yeah, as you weren't kidding, she's got more kick than a Carolina Reaper. Told you. What I could have done driving this thing. 
crashed on the first corner. You forget what just happened? No, I saw you lose it a few times. Only one of us lost it. Damn, that was cold. Too soon? Just go easy, okay? Please, I've waited two years. We are way past going easy. You're on. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You must have put in a lot of work over these years. Night and day. Shows. Still. Can't believe you couldn't win the grand even in this. You ever gonna let me live this down? Not a chance. This city holds a lot of memories. It's our city now. We finally made it. Raced our way into Lakeshore legend. We still got work to do. Harder at the top. Everybody wants to take you down. Believe me. I'd like to see them try when I'm driving this whip. Rattel is gonna be hyped when he sees her. Think he's gonna be okay with me turning up? Why wouldn't he be? Cause he's stubborn. Check the mirror lately. I ain't stubborn. <laughs> Seriously? Remember that time at Deering's when you ordered the jumbo chili sub with all the trimmings? And? He said, girl, you won't finish all that. And your point? <laughs> you ended up stuffing your face still. I threw up all over right now. And he said, next time order the salad. Easier to clean. <laughs> I miss him. He misses you too, yes? We'll see. You made a mistake. Own it. Talking mistakes? Yeah. How about, miss? People loving this drama. <laughs> what, you trying to ruin the moment? What, I'm the only one getting chewed out? Ain't much to say. Without her, I wouldn't have won the grant. So you replaced me. Tess was not a Yaz replacement. For starters, she didn't know the difference between a spanner and a torque wrench. <laughs> I don't doubt that. She did know the difference between sweet potatoes and yams, though. There's a difference? You had no idea what her play was? Had my doubts. Honestly, though, only thing I cared about was beating you. Yeah, and I deserve that. But people like Pinks, they're only out for themselves. Maybe, but everyone deserves a second chance, right? An opportunity to change. Okay, okay, I'm getting the irony. Can't wait to see what you two did with the garage. <laughs> was thinking about how Rydell would call me when he couldn't find Renchi. <laughs> Funny, caught him talking to Renchi last week. What was he saying? How come I always find you now? You're exactly where I put you. I told him you hit it deliberately, just to mess with him. You know, I'm about to turn around. Yes, you better not run off with another one of my cars. Can't make no promises. Remember when we started out? Yeah, of course. <laughs> just a couple of gearheads with nothing to lose. We thought we were gonna win it all right off the bat. You thought we were gonna win it all. I had a handle on reality. Maybe. Although, I can't believe you made me do that jump. Could have been over before we even started. But the thrill, right? You can't bottle that. It's what we live for. That need for... Don't say it. But yeah, this is just the end of the beginning. No doubt. Besides, something's missing from the garage. What? The Jasmine Touch.
Look who I found. Sounds pretty. It smells nice, too. Bradell, I'm... Compressor I'm... shot. Dude tried to fix it himself. I told him. Now I gotta undo what he did. Should've listened to you. Pain in the ass. <laughs> so how's the heights? <laughs> Overrated. You take the turbo out first? Since when do you do things by the book? Well, it's never too late to start. Well, all right. The lake? Better watch out. Street racing. Started in street, right? So it's street. Hip hop. It's street. When you think about urban wear, which is skate br skateboarding brands, which is called street wear, it's all from the hood. And it, and it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be an urban metropolitan or like hood. It's just for racing, for hip hop. Oh, as far as the correlation in hip hop, street racing, the big rims and shit like that. Spinners. Spinners were made to try to cool down exhaust and all of that shit. We took it to hip hop in the early 2000s. All the ballers had spinners on their trucks and all of that shit. 24 inch rims. Even decking your car out. The car culture is really like a, essentially a street and hip hop culture. Struggle. That's what everyone comes from. So hip hop started from struggle. It was people who would take their parents' records, right? And they knew that in the beginning of this record, it's 10 seconds that the drum is just looping. What they'll do is put that on a um, uh, uh, turntable and then they'll loop that 10 seconds and that's your beat. Then they'll take another record, put it on the other side of the turntable and that gives you your percussions and your hi-hats. And then they just take a microphone and rap. Hip hop was, the foundation is built off sampling initially, like essentially. And that's the whole, that's, that's what we do. So I think everything that goes into it, I think the struggle speaks out the best. And we all know that. It's, it's the struggle. Uh, everybody who wasn't like born with a silver spoon in their mouth, even those mother born with a silver spoon in their mouth, they always feel a need to show that they're worthy, that they need to show their parents, man, I'm not just no hedge fund baby. Like, I, I got this. I know rich billionaire, born billionaire mother who own multi-million dollar businesses by themselves. And there's not no Trump thing where the dad gave them only a $10 million loan. Like, what the f You know what I'm saying? It's like people who do it themselves. And I think that uh, even if you have a silver spoon, just keep going. Because if you, if you stop, bro, you can't afford to stop. No one can afford to stop. Because if you stop, it's over. And that's the truth. And, and, and for lack of better words, in, simp in the most simplest terms, if you stop, it's f***ing over. We all share the same thing, which is struggle. And for anybody struggling, I just want some words of encouragement. ASAP, meaning always strive and prosper. It's not what you think. It's not as soon as possible. But we took a positive riff on and put a spin on something that meant quickly. But for us, it's everything but fast. It actually has more of a positive perspective. And it was some form of encouragement that promoted prosperity and ambition amongst the young brothers. There's a lot of people where I come from who have a lot of capabilities and different backgrounds, but we never really exercise those tools or anything like that because we're so stuck in our situations or trying to live up to a facade that was, you know, put in front of us that we got to live up to and other people's expectations. I think always strive to prosper is just creating your own path for your own destiny but not going rogue and not giving up it's always about the encouragement
I think the message for striving is just is easy. It's because it's so easy to give up. It's so easy to give up. You could give up. You could start doing. You could give up and you could just stay at home or, you know, give up all aspirations. You could give up on life. You could give up on your friends, yourself, your family. I think prosperity is just what we all want in the long end and what we hope for. And that's what we work towards. Because I think this phrase and this crew is supposed to show you that if you strive, you shall prosper. Everybody has some type of support. So, I mean, I don't think that it's wise to try to take on everything as an individual by yourself. But you don't necessarily need a crew. It just worked out for me. We formed this brotherhood and this brothership because we don't have that where we from. You know, every time there's always an organization of Guys from the urban community getting together, we labeled as a gang or some type of terrorist party or something like that. You know, we just wanted to do something positive. We're not saints, but uh, at the same time, we're not cold-blooded sinners. And it's really all about just getting your dreams out there, man. And I think that I'm, I'm an advocate for that. You know, I advocate for that. I think I'm a catalyst for change. I think I'm a catalyst for, you know, striving and prospering and doing it how you want to do it your way because... Everything about me is unorthodox, man, my style, the way I talk and everything. But, it, I mean, it works. And I just want to encourage people to be them, whatever that may mean. And uh, whatever your goal is is set to be, to try to accomplish that. That's the purpose of it. And I think that's the pursuit of happiness in life. People don't get to know that I'm human just like them. I go through struggles just like them. I go through frustrations and everything. As far as my accolades and accomplishments go, it's, it wasn't easy, you know. And um, like I said, I'm just as normal as everyone else when it comes to that matter. People just assume once you're a superstardom that you kind of don't bleed or, you know, or shit or sleep or anything. But uh, for me, it's more so just uh, making it, just showing people that we're all relatable in the same sense, that we all are the same in the same sense because... I deal with everyday struggles just like anybody else. Most of the time, a common person only correlates struggle to economic problems or, you know, financial problems. But everybody has problems regardless of if it's economical or not. So what would you do if you had the mindset that you have now and the knowledge that you've gained throughout the years and you could kind of like teleport back to your old self back in, you know, 2007 and whatnot? I wouldn't change anything. I think that those struggles is what got me here in the first place, right? And I don't think that my destiny was um, written in another way. So I kind of feel like the purpose of everything happening is meant to happen in that sense. As far as the keys to the game, and what I will say is that every game, every category, every margin changes everything. Some things change back to its original state, and some things change in hybrid to a whole nother state. Or, you know, the evolution keeps going with everything. Some things are in style in the 60s and it comes back in style in the early 2000s and, so you know, so on and so forth. The, the game always changes. I think the best thing to do is just try to adapt with that, but still being yourself, you know, because there comes a, pl a time and place where I don't think a lot of people, you know, they, they forgot what it is to be an entertainer for the most part nowadays being an entertainer. Is more so being a clout chaser or being somebody for, you know, lack of better words, somebody that's always in a public eye for no good reasons, for the wrong, all the wrong things, you know, for all the wrong reasons. And uh, staying true to it. For instance, I'll give you an example of what I mean by that, because that was a vague statement. Nowadays, TikTok. TikTok is what every artist has to appeal to. Rapper, singer, pop artist. You have to go viral with TikTok. There's artists that don't even have a platform on TikTok and they're big, you know, such as myself. I'm barely on it. I, I check it out to, you know, for entertainment purposes like everyone else. But I don't really utilize it for my career as I should be. Now, I'm not opposed to it, but people's music is changing nowadays and it's more appealing to the algorithm of TikTok. So will it grab your attention in the first 15 seconds or would you swipe past it? Will it do this? Will it? All of those factors don't even matter to me, especially when I'm making music, because I know the name of the game is to stay with the time and flow and new swagger and pace of things. 
because it's always a radical change in whatever you do in any industry. But I'm going to stay true to myself because once all of the six, nine and the clout chasing stuff is all said and done and, you know, those guys can't do shows and this and that and this and that. This the legacy artists who are there, who knows the difference between changing time and adaptation. And that's the point I'm trying to make. For me, morally, I just want my son to be open minded, creatively, everything, you know, personally, I just want him to be open minded. I don't nobody wants a bad seed. Right. So we all pray for the same thing. I, I just want to have a, a, a normal child that expresses himself through his art or artistically and, you know, something like his dad in that matter. You know, I just I want him to be free, man. Like, I don't want him to discriminate against people, who pre prejudice, none of that shit. You know, none of that bullshit, man. My stage name isn't my real name, which is named after the God MC Rakim himself. I felt like that that was like if I was a basketball player, I got named Michael Jordan. You know, that's like somebody in this day and age being named Jay-Z or Kanye. Like, you know, like you that's how that that's what that's equivalent to. I felt those shoes were so big to fulfill. I felt like I needed to earn my right to even call myself that. I just me personally. Internally, I felt that way, and um, I got his okay, and you know my nickname I got from most deaf, Pretty Flacco. His is Pretty Flacco Bay. That's why, I'm, yeah, yeah. So I get all my names from like rappers and stuff, and uh, as long as I get the green light, I run with it, and I just try to make them proud within my legacy and lineage. Like I just want to do the right thing and knock down doors that they never did and accomplish things that they never thought that they could do, because whoever comes after me got to do it bigger and better you know and that's all i want to do is just make sure that we line it up for long legacy in this genre man we still strong going on 40 years man we still here i want to make everybody proud you know that's just me i'm, I'm eager to do that i want to make everyone proud honestly you know and um even you guys just being able to say i worked with that guy you know what i respect his shit i like his shit i'm proud of that kid like i f with him that's what i want that's what I'm in it for. That's what I do it for. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's never going to change. I'm never going to be too egotistical to say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm richer than the rappers I, would, I was named after and I did this and that. And I don't I don't give a You know, that's just whatever. You know, that's just not my motto. That's not my thing. That's not my, that's not my swag. So for me, I just want to make everybody proud because I'm a student and I'm always learning. And, you know, the gratitude from certain people and individuals and validation is what counts you know i grew up in a household of four siblings but uh in general there's 14 of us and yeah man it's a lot of us a lot of responsibilities i'm the oldest yeah i'm, I'm the oldest from my pop side so my pops passed away and here i am with my brothers and i'm like a dad figure in that sense so that's why i was like i, I kind of been a dad for a while now technically you know it taught me I was just a weird mother man. I was just, I was, like, different from all of them. I was a strange one, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like the weird shit, like music that people wouldn't even suspect me to like. Like, what kids you know like Bob Dylan and Buddy Holly and these motherfuckers and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, listening to Bob Marley and Bougie Bonton and, I don't, you know, I don't know. I'm just... Do you, do you, because where we from, it's supposed to just be, yo, I only listen to mother... You know what I'm saying? I only listen to hoodie rap. That's it. I'm a killer. You know what I'm saying? That's the attitude. But now it's just like, if you're not on that, you're a d You advocate for d and all that. If not, it's just, you know, it's braggadocious shit. Not to say that I don't have that in my rhymes. That's just the culture we come from. But uh, I think that there's more to me than just like that layer of just braggadocious, lackluster shit, you know, that everybody's doing and... The layers go way deeper than that, you know, and um, I want you to invent your own style, right? On top of that, your, your, your rapping capabilities have to be God level. And when I say that, I mean, you got to be able to go and get index and pick different flows, different cadences. And, you know, also, I think what makes you a, a, a really, really, really dope MC today is when so many people from different backgrounds with you and can relate to you or listen to you, you know? And it's just like so many people speak to one demographic or target one demographic. But 
when you have that wide range of just different people and different backgrounds that come together and can agree upon like the body of work or just that artist in general i think that's what makes you like god mc and somebody who doesn't do the whole bells and whistles cheat code clout thing like you know that's just it i was on my way over here and i was talking to my boy and I, we were just talking about how the kids are now like saying like you know future had a way better album than kendrick lamar and nobody wanted to listen to kendrick and i was just i was flabbergasted like what the you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to figure out what day and age am I living in that people's like, granted, you could like Future over Kendrick. But where do you get off saying Kendrick is ass and his music is mid inspiration? That's what makes a dope MC. Look, if you can inspire more and shit like that. Yes. So individuality, rapping capability, um, a sign of development and being mature and being mature. And last but not least inspiration man if you can inspire you know what i mean people from different backgrounds and all that shit and reach reach on on those people that's what i feel like is like technically god mcs you know life throws you lemons i make sprite remix while everybody's drinking lemonade and shit you know what i'm saying like i'm just i just like to make the best of each situation you can't stop man life is gonna throw you lemons there's going to be days that you just feel like you can't even get out of bed. Today was one of them. You know what? <laughs> Everybody on the screen laughing and shit, but it's true. It's true, though. You know, it's just like it's it's one of those things where what keeps me going is the passion to create. I know that I feel like a genius. Right. And I know that's some real self-centered shit to say within my own right. What I do, I feel like I mastered a lot of the things that I do. And within those those margins, I feel like I'm a genius in that in that realm. And um, I I wake up every day for change, man. I just want to I want to invent something new. I want to design something new. I want to say something new. I want to direct something new. I want to write something new. I want to do something that's going to inspire my older than me, younger than me. You know, that's why I want other my my age or younger or older to do the same thing keep it going we all got to be inspired man you know it's just like i'll use this for example like you if need for speed gave up they would have gave up a long time ago because we got grant that photo we got gran turismo we got this this that what the f does that mean i don't have nothing to do with need for speed you get what i'm saying i'm trying to make an analogy connect out of this but you get what i mean you still keep going and we're gonna make the best out of it you make the best out of it, not saying, oh, we making the best out of a shit shitty situation. No, no. I'm saying you make the best out of what the best is, you know, and that's that's what I want to do. And that's what gets me up every day. My folks in there could tell you every day. My conversations when I was 16, where the hoes at? Where the bitches at? Where the girls? Where, yo, you going shopping? Oh, I ain't got no money. That was it. Now, where's the what's the new designs? Yo, did you see this video? Look, we should do this. Hey, this would be dope on stage. My boys give me like that's just where I am now, and um, that's what wakes me up. I hope I'm not being too boring right now, but it's it's the truth. I want I want people to know that, especially about me. I'm I have insecurities, I have obstacles, I have ambitions, and I have failures, just like everybody else, just like all of us. And best part about life is waking up to be able to accomplish it again and do better and that's just that's it for me man and i know it sounds positive and uh, that's the truth though and i hate to sound so boring and shit but it's the truth you feel me like that's it man that's what we in it for and i, I want to encourage the young mothers and people who even from other cultures that just get into the culture it's never it's never too late you know i just want to encourage people that who all share struggle or sharing a struggle even trying to accomplish anything man i just want to give them that ambition man some words of encouragement always strive always prosper man e aí gostaram do vídeo comenta aí embaixo o que vocês acharam e para mais vídeos como esse não deixe de se inscrever no canal deixar o seu like e ativar o sininho das notificações não deixe de conferir também nenhum dos dois vídeos que aparecerão na tela final eu vou ficando por aqui muito obrigado por tudo até mais valeu tchau